This is the near Blackfriars tube station, named after the old Blackfriars monastery that was here, the Playhouse Yard. There's been a theatre just here inside the city walls of London since the 1570s, but it was a children's theatre company and they were performing morality tales. So the Puritans didn't mind that too much, but in 1608, the Blackfriars Playhouse opened and Shakespeare's acting company did work there. The King's Men, as they were then known, and it was exactly on this site. So we're in the city of London with a capital C. The Puritans didn't really want theatres here. The theatres, a couple of them were further in the distance beyond north east of London in areas like Shoreditch. But most of them were on the south bank across the river to the right. And that's where in 1599 Shakespeare was hired by a man named Richard Burbage to be a writer in residence at the Globe. And up until that point, Shakespeare was only writing plays and selling manuscripts. He wasn't getting a share of the profits. Then from 1599, he got about 12 and percent of the performance money and the Globe held up to 3,000 people. So he was making a fortune near the end of his life the end of his career on the 10th of March 1613 he bought what we believe to be the only property that he ever purchased in London we know of three places that he lived and we know of one property that he bought and it was just on this site here and it was part of the old gatehouse of the Blackfriars Monastery he bought it on the 10th of March 1613 but only a few months later on the 29th of June 1613 the Globe Theatre caught fire and Shakespeare as far as we know retired and went back to Stratford-upon-Avon so we don't believe he ever lived here he did hand it to his daughter she passed it down to her daughter Elizabeth and Elizabeth died childless and there the family line of William Shakespeare and Anne Hathaway dies. The land was then handed to aristocracy. Theatre was popular, but also animal fighting was just as popular. And this is the site of the Cockpit Pub. Named such in the 1860s, but in Shakespeare's day, if you went to a theatre, you might often see bears and dogs fighting. And then some days you'd watch Romeo and Juliet. Both of them were equal entertainment. One of the great old Victorian hidden away pubs of London. And on a Sunday morning like it is today, obviously closed, but a lot of the financial district, the city as we call it here, is closed and quiet as all the office workers have the weekend off. So do join me again. Please follow and subscribe to my channel and there'll be plenty more tours and little snippets and chunks like this. You can also book me privately and you can also keep an eye out for the live streams that will be happening in the coming weeks. Lots of love to you all. Take care. Bye-bye.